Hello, classmates. Today, we are going to learn about mixed proportion design of ordinary cement concrete. Mixed proportion of concrete refers to the mass ratio of various components in concrete. The process of determining the mixed proportion is called mixed proportion design. The basis for mixed proportion design is a JGJ. 55-2011, Code for Design of Ordinary Concrete Mix Proportion. The basic data for mixed proportion design include 1. Concrete Design Strength Grade 2. Engineering Characteristics, including Environment, Structural Section, Minimum Spacing of Reinforcement, etc. Three. Durability requirements, including impermeability, frost resistance, etc. 4. Cement strength grade and type. 5. Types of sand and gravel, maximum nominal particle size of aggregate. 6. Construction methods. There are two methods for expressing mixed proportion of concrete. 1. Unit volume method. 2. Relative volume method. The unit volume method refers to expressing the mixed proportion by the quantity of each material per one cubic meter of concrete. For example, in the mixed proportion of C30 concrete, cement, water, sand aggregate equals 330 kilograms per cubic meter is to 150 kilograms per cubic meter is to 706 kilograms per cubic meter is to 1,264 kilograms per cubic meter. The relative volume method refers to taking the mass of cement as one and arranging the proportions of cement is to sand is to aggregate. Water binder ratio in order. For example, 1 is to 2.14 is to 3.82. W over B equals 0 0.5. For the mixed proportion design of Portland cement concrete, the following four basic requirements should be met. 1. Meet the requirements of structural design strength. To ensure the reliability of the structure, the mixed proportion of concrete must be prepared with a strength that meets the design strength. 2. Meet the requirements of construction workability. Determined through slump or VB consistency tests. 3. Meet the requirements of environmental durability. To ensure the durability of the structure, the permissible maximum water binder ratio and minimum cement content should be considered. 4. Meet the requirements of economy. While meeting the concrete design strength, workability, and durability, the usage of expensive materials should be minimized. For example, reducing the amount of cement as much as possible. Local materials and industrial waste, such as fly ash, can be considered for use to prepare concrete with good performance and low cost. There are three important parameters in concrete mix proportion design. Water binder ratio, sand ratio, and unit water content. Water binder ratio refers to the ratio of water volume to the amount of cementitious materials in concrete, where cementitious materials refer to cement and other admixtures, such as fly ash and slag. Sand ratio refers to the percentage of sand quality in the total mass of sand and gravel, which affects the cohesion and water retention of concrete. Unit water content refers to the amount of water in one cubic meter of concrete mixture, kilogram per cubic meter, reflecting the ratio between cement slurry and aggregate. 
There are two methods for calculating the unit quantities of coarse and fine aggregates. One, mass method, also known as assumed density method. Two, volume method, also known as absolute volume method. The mass method assumes a fixed apparent density for concrete, and the sum of the unit quantities of each component material in the concrete mixture is its apparent density. We already have the unit water content and the quantity of cementitious materials. Given the known value of sand ratio, there are now only two unknowns: the quantity of coarse aggregate. And the quantity of fine aggregate, combining with the calculation formula of sand ratio, as shown in the figure, we can form a system of linear equations. And based on this system, we can solve for the quantities of coarse and fine aggregates. Another method is called the volume method, which considers the volume of concrete as one. Composed of the volumes occupied by various component materials, and the volume of voids and concrete, as obtained in equation one in the figure. When we know the density of each component material by the ratio of mass to density, we can obtain the volume of each material, and the sum of the volumes of each material plus the volume of voids. Is considered as the volume of concrete, which is one. The unknowns here are still the quantities of coarse and fine aggregates, and their relationship can also be reflected using the sand ratio. This forms another system of linear equations, and similarly, we can solve for the quantities of coarse and fine aggregates. The mass method calculates the quantity of aggregates straightforwardly and intuitively, which is easy to obtain. On the other hand, the volume method requires prior knowledge of the density values of various materials, and this density should correspond to the materials actually used, resulting in a more accurate mix proportion. The design steps for ordinary Portland cement concrete mainly consists of four steps: one, calculate the initial mix proportion, mainly based on empirical formulas; two, adjust the reference mix proportion through trial mixing, ensuring the workability of concrete determined by slump or VB consistency tests; three. Inspect strength to determine the trial mix proportion, adjusting W over B to meet strength, durability, and workability requirements. Four. Convert the construction mix proportion based on the actual moisture content of aggregates at the construction site. The focus of this lesson is one. Be familiar with the mix proportion design requirement of ordinary cement concrete. Two, master the design steps of ordinary cement concrete. The calculation of initial mix proportion design is quite complex. During the calculation process, attention to detail is necessary. Understanding and fully grasping the meaning of each symbol and numerical value. Ensuring the accuracy and feasibility of the data. It is hoped that through this lesson you can grasp the correct methods. Please, students, think about what are the cementitious materials in the water binder ratio. Thank you for listening attentively to this micro lesson. Goodbye and see you again.